Hello everybody. You search current immigration on Google and Google will return 3.9 million result in just 0.9 second. So you are inundated by the information available on the internet. So the purpose of this video is to let you know what are the steps of Canadian immigration if you have decided to take on the journey. So first of all, let me tell you, self assessment of Canadian immigration is very easy. Well, all you need to do is Google CIC CRS tool. The first page that would appear in the Google search is most likely to be the official web page, the official CRS tool provided by the Canadian Immigration Authority IRCC. So this is the first step that you need to do before doing anything. The first step is to input the right information into the tool. The tool at when you hit calculate score, it would return the score that you would have. So the score would be out of 600 points. What you will do that you will compare the CRS score returned by the tool with the latest cut off. So what happens is Canadian Immigration Authority would conduct a draw every other week, mostly on Wednesday. But we have seen in the past that there are lucky when Mondays when these uh, draws were uh, take, had taken place. So what will happen that that you will compare your score with the latest cutoff. If the latest cutoff is below the, than your score, that means that you are not only eligible but you are also expected to get an ITA when you fulfill all the requirements and you enter the express entry pool. The second step is preparing two documents. If the, uh, the CRS tool returns that you are eligible and you have a certain score that you will have to prepare only two documents to enter the pool. One document is your ECA that is educational credential assessment. So any education that is obtained outside of Canada needs to be to have a report issued by one of the five ECA authorities. One, two, three, four and five. These are the five authorities that would be that are entitled to issue ECA reports. However, there are two more authorities like PEBC and MCC. These two authorities are uh, authorized to uh, issue an ECA report for pharmacists and physicians. So physician and pharmacists, if their primary NOC is physician and pharmacist, they will have to get the ECA report from PEBC and MCC. The detail and procedure of MCC and PBC are available on these the, the, their respective website. For the simplicity, I would only be addressing the most commonly used five ECS authority, namely WES, IQAS, ICES, ICES, and CES. Detail and procedure are available on their respective website. However, I would also be doing a separate video on the turnaround time and the documentary requirement of different ECS. For the time being, we are only concentrating on the first step. The first step we have already discussed is determining your eligibility. So here we are at the second step. Second step is to when you find yourself eligible, then you will do that uh, you will select an ECA. Selecting the procedure of selecting an ECA and your consideration for selecting an ECA would be discussed separately in a separate video. So for the time being, we would go to the third step, which is IELTS. Canadian Immigration would accept two kind of English language tests. One is IELTS, another is CELPIB. These are the two testing authorities who are entitled to conduct English language capability test. CLPIP, which is commonly known as CELPIP, is not available in every country. Uh, as we speak, it is only available in uh, USA, Canada, UAE, and India. While IELTS general can be taken in a variety of countries. So hopefully in your country you would find a testing center near you. The third step as I just said is to take an IELTS general test. In this test you will try your best to hit CLB9. CLB9 is a magical figure because CLB9 is a combination of a certain result in le uh, listening, writing, reading and speaking section. So CLB9 means that you have to get seven in all section of IELTS general and eight in the listening so that is commonly called eight triple seven so eight triple seven is a magical score not in the magical in the sense that it would bring you uh, it would get you the maximum point for language but also 
because when CLB9 is combined with three years or more experience and when, when CLB9 is combined with at least two or more degree or master level education. So that would kick off your skill transferability point which can go up to 100. That is why people would say that when they achieve CLB9, their point would boost and whether they, are, they hit the mark, when they don't hit CLB9, they would be uh, lagging behind. So that is why you would find a lot of people struggling in achieving CLB9 because that would kick off your 100 points for skill transferability only in addition to the points for language. All right, the fourth step is to enter in the pool. So when you get these two documents, ECA reports from respective ECA authority and uh, IELTS result, you, would, you are ready to enter in the pool. With these two documents, you will start creating your profile using GC key at this IRCC website. The next step after entering the pool is to sit tight and wait for the outcome. You need to keep watching this score trend and see. If unfortunately your score is below current CRS, that means that you need to boost your score by a number of uh, ways. So there are a number of ways through which you can improve your CRS and you can bring it as close as possible to the current lowest cut off. There are two, three ways of doing that is getting more experience, asking your spouse to take IELTS, asking your spouse to have her, her or his ECA done. You can get, get a job offer, you can learn French, you can claim point for your sibling. So these are the one of the few uh, ways you can get additional CRS point. However, not everything is possible for everybody because there are people who would max out on their age, education, experience altogether. So there are people who would max out on all these factors, age, education and experience already and they would struggle. Such people need to find out other ways of increasing their, say, their CRS. If a draw happens when you enter the pool and the lowest cutoff falls below your CRS, that means you would be invited to apply for a Canadian permanent residence that happens you will have 24 hours time max when you would receive an email where the through which you have created the ee profile so you would receive a message and it would ask to accept the invitation when you accept the invitation your countdown for of 60 days would start so in 60 days you have to complete your profile every information that you have input in the express entry profile needs to be substantiated through verified document at this stage when you are invited to apply you will have to get your document arranged your document at this level would be required proof of fund related document police certificate medical experience letter language test eca and educational certificate there are there is a complete list of documents available that you need to arrange and submit to ircc within 60 days when you are invited to apply. Previously this time was 90 days, but 60 days it has been reduced to 60 days, 60 days now. So this is the time you will have to submit everything. So most of the people, it is wise. I would always suggest to arrange this document beforehand so that if you are invited to apply, you are able to submit your application as soon as possible. When you submit your application through your account, you would be acknowledged that your document has been received and processing has started. So there is another myth start from here when people would start comparing that where do you stand and where do they stand. So I do not personally believe in this myth that two different applications submitted together can be compared. They are processed separately. So two applications submitted on a single, on the same day, on the same time cannot be compared because every application has a different information and every uh, application would take its own time. So do not compare your application with others or get anxious. So the next step is to sit tight and wait that how long your application would take. Normally the application may take any time between four months to eight months now, depending on the information, but depending on your profile. So let IRC see process the application as per the procedure and do not start intervening, calling them, dropping an email, trying to, to find your visa office and doing stuff like that. If any, if any information is missing, IRCC would contact you themselves. So this is the point when additional document request which is commonly known as ADR is raised. At this point, 
an ADR would be raised and you would be asked to submit an additional document. Most of the instances where ADR is requested are related to police certificate, travel history, proof of fund, proof of employment. These are some of the information that is usually need to be substantiated if the visa officer is not satisfied the information submitted in your profile. When you submit your application, please make good use of client information placeholder because this is the, the placeholder where you would input letter of explanation commonly known as LOE. You are supposed to write LOE is section wise because some of the uh, section of your application would need clarification. Some of the section they, that which may need ex additional drug information may be, may be proof of fund, PCC, work experience, travel history or maybe education or sometimes if you encounter the problem of different names from different documents you can explain this here. So make guys make very good use of this section where you can add a lot of information that would help the visa officer to understand your specific situation. When you submit your application which is called electronic application of permanent resident EAPR this is the point when you would be asked to pay the fee. So there are two options of paying the fee. At this point in time, you would be asked to pay the processing fee of your PR, which is 550 Canadian dollar for the primary applicant and the dependent spouse. And uh, you will also be required to pay 490 Canadian dollar for primary applicant and the dependent spouse for the request right of permanent resident fee, RPRF. So guys, this is, these are the basic steps that you need to take in order to submit your application starting from eligibility analysis that you would do yourself and you may seek help from the, the group or your friend. But I would strongly suggest that you run this check on using CIR, CIC, CRS tool on the official website yourself and then prepare for ECA, get the ECA report, prepare for IELTS and get the IELTS report for you and spouse depending on your CRS and then wait enter the pool by creating the express entry profile and wait for the crs to drop below your current level you would be invited you would be invited to apply and you would submit your application along with all necessary documents and wait for the final outcome by the ircc so this is the prime time this is the hardest part when most people because to me this is nerve cracking part of the entire process when you are unaware, when you are uncertain what is happening to the application. So following with IRC authority on regular basis would not help much. I have seen a lot of people ordering GCMS note, but those notes are difficult to be interpreted by a layman. So uh, having no knowledge is a blessing. It's not a blessing in disguise, but it's, a, it's an obvious blessing. If you do not hear from IRCC, you can be positive and assume that your application is doing fine. The visa officer do not need more information from you. If they want some more information from your side, they would explicitly ask you and a message would be sent to your account. So these are the steps that you need to take to file a PR application with IRCC. I hope you have learned a lot. In next more videos, I will be covering other important topic based on the demand of our group member and the people who liked our page. So stay tuned to Imivisor and Express Entry page which is specifically for Pakistan. Thank you very much.